Peggy 18. under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for 10 days. Not much time left. Weather will clear shortly. Storm's passing. Infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces should be the perfect warm up. Normally, there would be a tutorial here, but we'll go ahead and skip that for today. You can't have much left in him. I give him three days, Tops. If we fail, when he dies, we lose our chance of revenge. But we need more intel. If you just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it, well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return this big boss. That's how Koss would want. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. But they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and knees. You'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. Go! Let the legend come back to life. Alright, now we've transitioned seamlessly from cutscene into gameplay, and uh, everything you're seeing today is running at 1080p, 60 frames per second on a PlayStation 4. As you heard during the cutscene, our mission here is to rescue Miller, but we're going to show you a shortened version of that mission today, prepared just for E3, to show you as much as we can in the amount of time that we have. So uh, to start with, let's go ahead and open, open up our iDroid. And we see here our target area. But before we charge in, we should probably scout out the area. So we'll go ahead and mark a vantage point on our map here. Marker placed. That we can use to scout things out. And yes, your horse will do this in the game from time to time, uh, but we'll just ignore that and move on. Now, uh, as you know, Phantom Pain is an open world game. It's roughly 200 times the size of Ground Zeroes. Yeah. And we're just going to show you a small glimpse of that today to give you a taste of the gameplay. 
Uh, it is a wide open world, as you can see. Uh, a lot of things to do, a lot of places to explore. It's also a living world populated by wildlife, and up ahead you can see some sheep on the road here. And the landscape is also dotted by human settlements, as you can see up and to the right. Alright, now you notice the background music has changed, it's gotten a little tense, that indicates danger nearby, so let's go ahead and take a look with our binoculars. And here we have a couple enemies, so we'll go ahead and mark them. Then we'll make our approach. Uh, that said, if we're up on a horse like this, it's easy to be spotted, so we'll use one of Snake's new abilities. You can actually hang off the side of the horse, and lower your profile. And get close enough for the shot. Alright, his buddy did notice that uh, he went down, so we're going to use that to our advantage now, see if we can sneak up behind him. And hold this guy up. Alright, now that we have him held up, we can interrogate him, get some info. Spit it out. And he's telling us where we can find a container with raw materials, so we'll check that out in a bit. But first, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. And what you're seeing on the screen right now is the Fulton Recovery System. Players who have played Peace Walker should be familiar with this system. Uh, those guys are going to head back to Mother Base. And it looks like we have a curious visitor here as well. Perhaps he wants to go, ba go back to Mother Base too. So let's go ahead and help him out here. Alright, and he's down. So let's go ahead and attach the Fulton. And off he goes. Alright, then we'll check our map and we see the container here that the guy was talking about. So we'll check that out, it's not too far out of our way. Note that the guys we pulled in back there will head back to Mother Base and become a part of your army, and you can assign them to various groups within Mother Base to do tasks for you. And as for the sheep, I'm sure we can figure something out. Alright, so here we have the container, and we see the guy here. There's a guy guarding it, so we'll approach carefully here. Now we did mark our enemies, so you can see him through objects such as this wall. And it doesn't look like he's planning to go anywhere anytime soon, so we'll go ahead and lure him out. And this is one of Snake's new abilities, the knock is back in Phantom Pain. You can now perform this using your prosthetic limb, which means you don't have to be next to a wall. With that said, if you are next to a wall, you can perform some pretty brutal CQC, like so. And peeking out from behind a wall and shooting enemies is now faster and smoother than it was in Ground Zeroes. So we'll hold, go ahead and get rid of these guys. And see if we can now recover the container. Alright, we gotta be sure to get off the container quickly there. If we were on the container when it went up, uh, we actually would have been Fultoned along with it and gone back to Mother Base. Uh, which is a technique you may want to use from time to time, but of course uh, that does abort the mission, so we don't want to do that for today's demonstration. Right, so we'll move on. And uh, you may have noticed also there was a weather report that came in over our iDroid, uh, saying that there's a sandstorm nearby, and if you look up at the sky you can see that it has gotten a little grey now, and we see some sand kicking up here. Sandstorm is just one example of the dynamic weather that we have in Phantom Pain. The weather we will evolve throughout the day. And uh, during a sandstorm, of course, visibility is low, which means that enemies will have a hard time seeing you. But in turn, you also have a hard time seeing where you're going, so you have to be careful as you navigate through the landscape. Alright, there may be guys like this in hiding. And we've gone ahead and take him, taken him out. Uh, now you could Fulton this guy if you wanted to, but we won't do that today uh, because of the sandstorm. Uh, the Fulton is influenced by weather, and during high, w high wind conditions it can actually be low enough course, and if that happens, the guy you're Fultoning could end up dying, so we don't want to do that. Uh, as I mentioned, visibility is low, but since we marked our target, we can see where we're heading, so we'll just head towards the marker on screen. The will clear now our iDroid is telling us that the weather is clearing, and the four guys we Fultoned earlier have made it back to base. But before we move on, uh, you notice there's something shining beneath this tree. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so raw diamonds. Uh, these raw diamonds are an example of raw materials that you can gather around the map. Uh, these are scattered throughout the landscape. And when you pick them up, they get sent back to Mother Base and add to your GMP. GMP being the currency in Phantom Pain, which you can use to upgrade your base and also develop new items and equipment. 
Alright, so now we're at a vantage point that we set earlier, and off in the distance you can see our target in yellow there. So in there we should be able to get info regarding Miller's whereabouts. So let's go ahead and take a look using our binoculars. We see the target here. And there are some enemies, so we'll go ahead and mark them. Okay, so we've gone ahead and marked the enemies that we can see. That said, uh, we don't know if there may be more enemies in hiding in buildings or around corners. Uh, so let's call upon Mother Base uh, to help us out here. Now Mother Base, there's an intel unit that can scout things out for us. And what you see in the background here is actually Mother Base. So all the guys we fulton earlier get sent back here. And if we take a look at our staff list, you see that we have four new members added to the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and assign one of these guys to our intel unit. Note also that the UI is three-dimensional, so you can move it around like so by moving the controller. Staff assignment All right, complete. so he's in the intel unit now, and he'll scout out some info for us. Enemy presence detected. And there's his report. Let's go ahead and take a look at our map. Now you'll notice these red areas here. These indicate anticipated enemy locations. So we'll go ahead and mark those. Marker placed. Marker placed. And take a look with our binoculars. And sure enough, you see enemies entering these areas, so we'll go ahead and mark them as well. Okay, so we've gone ahead and marked all the enemies here, and note that the base is well guarded, so it might not be a good idea to sneak in at this time, uh, we could try, but it'd be very difficult. So in this kind of situation, it might actually be useful to wait until the guards change shifts. And uh, you could do that just by sitting here waiting for a very long time. But we also have an item that comes in handy in situations like this, and we call it the Phantom Cigar. The Phantom Cigar is an e-cigar that Snake can smoke to help pass the time. Uh, you can start fast-forwarding time and stop whenever you like. Keep in mind that it is an e-cigar, so it produces no ash, and the smoke you see on screen is actually a hologram. Now looking up at the sky, you see we have real-time cloud simulation. All this being done sun in real time, and you see also the sun and moon do move through the sky realistically. And shadows from vegetation is cast realistically on the ground. All thanks to the power of the Fox engine. Sun will set shortly. Now if we pan over to the right, you can also see that the enemies we marked earlier are changing shifts, depending on the time of day. And if you look at our map, we see these blue triangles here, which indicate enemies who are sleeping. So depending on the time of day, if enemies are off their shift, they may be sleeping, and you can use that to your advantage as you plan your infiltration route. Alright, so we'll go ahead and stop here. Again, we can stop at any time. And honestly, it probably would be best to sneak in during night, so that you have darkness uh, to provide cover. But today we want to make sure you see what's going on, so we'll go in during the day. And to help us out, we'll go ahead and place some markers here. Now these markers will serve as waypoints as we sneak through the base and make sure we don't get lost on our way to the target. Okay, so we've gone ahead and set our infiltration route. That said, it is broad daylight, so it'll be hard to sneak through the base at this point in time. Uh, so let's go ahead and once again call upon Mother Base for some help. In Mother Base you have an R&D unit, and these guys can help you up by developing new types of uh, items and equipment. So for today, let's go ahead and have them develop the ultimate in stealth technology which, as every Metal Gear fan knows, is the cardboard box. So we'll go ahead and place that order. Supply and have it drop to our location. There it is. And we'll go ahead and open up this box. And now we have our customized special edition Diamond Dogs box. We're ready to go. So we'll go ahead and head down the slope here. Keep in mind that this is just one possible approach. Phantom Pain is an open world game, meaning you can approach targets from any angle, any direction. It's just one possibility that we're showing you here today. All right, and as we make our way out here to the open, let's go ahead and try out our new cardboard box. Right, now, players who have played Metal Gear before are obviously familiar with the cardboard box, but it has been upgraded for Phantom Pain with some new abilities, such as the ability to pop up, take guys out, and quickly duck back into the box. 
And you can now do all of this without having to equip and unequip the box. You can also use the Fulton from within the box. And it looks like we have another enemy behind us, so let's go ahead and sneak up on this guy. Hold him up. And send him on his way. Alright, up ahead we see a guy who could be a problem. Uh, we could trank him, but let's try something different. In Mother Base we have a support unit that can provide uh, supply drops. And supply drops are useful for pr providing items and ammunition. But you can also use them in some pretty creative ways, and we'll show you one example of that here. If you call a supply drop right onto an enemy location, you can do this. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we knocked the guy out and got some ammo. Two birds with one stone. Let's go ahead and collect that. And move on. Okay, we hit our next marker, and uh, that set up ahead, it looks like the way is pretty well guarded, so let's go ahead and take a detour through this building, sneak around that guy. And it looks like we've stumbled upon a guard here who's just coming off of his shift, going to sleep. So let's go ahead and use that to our advantage. There's no need for us to engage him as long as we're quiet and uh, proceed carefully here. He shouldn't wake up and he's no threat to us. We'll slowly make our way to the door. CQC to take this guy out. And now that we're back in the open again, let's go ahead and put our box back on. Alright, it looks like someone may have noticed our box moving, which is not a good thing. Obviously that's a bit suspicious, so he'll probably check it out. Uh, but we do have something in TPP that can help you in this situation. You can actually jump out the side of the box, like so. And uh, this is actually a very useful technique, because as long as the enemy does not see you jumping out of the box, he will come to investigate, and you can actually use the box as a decoy as you sneak around the side of the building here. Now, previously we showed you how you can use the Fulton system to Fulton people as well as containers. Uh, you can also use the Fulton to Fulton vehicles. So let's go ahead and recover this vehicle here from other base. That said, you do need to be careful because you never know if there are guys hiding behind objects. So, just get rid of this guy. And make sure the coast is clear. Alright, we got one more guy here, so let's go ahead and hide. Uh, dumpster here looks good. And the dumpster is just one example of various objects that are scattered around the stage that you can use to hide. And also, as you can see, once enemies are close, you can also use a specialized form of CQC to quickly take them out and stash them away. Alright, we've hit our next marker now, so we'll go ahead and proceed forward. And that yellow marker there, on the second floor of the building, is our target. We'll make our way there carefully. Be careful not to be spotted. You have arrived at your destination. Yeah, there's a guy here, so we'll keep an eye on him as we make our way. Oh, and somebody to our right may have spotted something, so let's take cover down here in the ditch and lay low for a bit. Alright, and the coast looks clear, so move on. You have arrived at your destination. 
change. And we'll take the high road here so we can have a better view of the landscape as we proceed. Enemy here, so we'll go ahead and mark him. And we need to get up there to the second floor, so we'll make our entry here. And it looks like the soldiers, as well as the diamonds we picked up earlier, have made their way back to Mother Base, adding to our GMP. And the vehicle as well. Right, close call there, but thanks to reflex mode, can take that guy out. Alright, now we need to get the second floor, and the coast does look clear, so we'll go ahead and Fulton this guy, then head on up. Now in this room we should be able to find some intel regarding Mill's whereabouts, so let's check it out. Uh, but it looks like there's also a POW here, so let's go ahead and see who this is. And this is actually Jackie, our E3 gameplay master, who uh, is not looking too happy right now. We'll help him out in just a minute, but first let's go ahead and take a look at the intel files. So we'll go ahead and pull out our iDroid. Scan these in. And upload the data. Now we know where Miller is. I'm marking it on your iDroid. Okay, now we have Miller's location. All we gotta do now is help Jackie escape. And that's not working. Uh, if you look at the Fulton icon, you can actually see that it's at 0% right now. Which means, obviously, we can't Fulton him indoors. So let's get him outside. And now it should work. There he goes. Uh, so we have our intel, and we have Jackie up and away. So now all we need to do is escape from the base, and we're done. Uh, that said, uh, we have been spotted. So we're gonna have to fight our way out. Uh, but in this situation, Mother Base can once again provide support for us. So let's go ahead and open up our iDroid once again. And this time we'll call upon our support unit to provide an airstrike. So we'll go ahead and set a target area. Target area confirmed. And then we'll also call a helicopter to help us escape. Please select a landing zone. Landing zone confirmed. Alright, now all we need to do is escape as quickly as possible, because obviously we don't want to be here when the bombs start dropping, or we will be caught in the blast. So we're not going to bother with stealth at this point, it's just a matter of escaping the base. And we see a vehicle here, which should help us out, so let's go ahead and hijack that. Alright, support fire incoming, see if we can take a look at it here. Nice. This is Morpho, arriving shortly at LZ. And Morpho's incoming, so we just have to make our way to the LZ. Right, so we've made it safely onto Morpho. Uh, that said, you're never truly safe in the Phantom Pain until you've escaped from enemy territory, and that does include enemy airspace, so we'll keep our eyes open here as we make our escape. Right, down below we see some enemy reinforcements heading in. And the smoke from our airstrike. It does look like we're in the clear. So that's mission complete. Let's see how we did. Right, S rank, not bad. Uh, so that concludes the open world gameplay segment of our presentation for today. Uh, that said, we do have something new in store for you right after this, and this is the first time we're going to be showing this section off. It's actually uh, 
brand new for E3 2014. So let's go ahead and take a look. Up until this point, we've Fulton people sent them back to Mother Base. Also, if you've played Peace Walker, you're familiar with the Mother Base system. But in Phantom Pain, Mother Base is actually a physical location that you can visit. And uh, that's what you see on the screen right here. So this Mother Base is an example of Mother Base that's been built up quite a bit. When you first start out, Mother Base is just a small platform. And you slowly build it up as you gather resources and build new platforms. The cool thing about Mother Base is that everyone's Mother Base will be unique. Because depending on how you decide to spend your resources, uh, the shape and size of Mother Base will vary. So gathering resources, building up your Mother Base, and showing off to your friends is part of the fun of Phantom Pain. We hope you look forward to that. Alright, so this big platform you see here is the primary platform in our base. So we'll go ahead and make our approach. And we can now actually disembark from the helicopter and give you a personalized tour of Mother Base. You see your men do salute you as you approach. Uh, you are, of course, their commander. You are a big boss. These are your men, your diamond dogs. And this is your base. So uh, let's take a moment to take it all in. Just get a sense of the scale of it all. And just remember that you, the player, will be creating all of this. Alright, so let's move on. Alright, we see uh, our friends, the sheep, as well as Jackie, have made it back to base safely. Thank you, boss. And they seem to be getting along nicely. So we'll let them be. And here we are in the interior of Mother Base. I'll give you another view of it here. You can hear your gunfire in the background as well. That is from the shooting range. While you're out in your missions, uh, your men may be engaged in missions of their own, or they may be back here at Mother Base engaged in training, uh, such as the shooting range. Uh, you can also train with them if you like. Uh, you can actually spar with them, practice some CQC, uh, which will help raise your ability as well as theirs. But we won't do that for today. We'll just go ahead and move on up to give you a better view of the base. Alright, and up ahead you see an anti-aircraft gun. This is an example of artillery that you can actually Fulton from the field. Uh, so while you're out on your mission, you can actually Fulton artillery and equipment like this, bring it back to Mother Base and install it here as a part of your defenses. Likewise, you see here the container that we Fultoned earlier has made it back to Mother Base safely. And the vehicle as well. So all of these things that you fulton, whether it be personnel, vehicles, or resources, get sent back to Mother Base. And resources will add to your GMP, which you can use to upgrade Mother Base and expand it by building new platforms. So here's the platform currently under construction, uh, so this will be available in the near future. And another thing you can spend your GMP on is upgrading your security. And this UAV here is one example of that, so these guys will keep your base safe while you're out on your missions. Alright, and we see here a familiar face. So all slot. Saying hi. So unique characters such as Ocelot will also be scattered around Mother Base, and you can actually interact with them as well. Now it's started to rain. Once again, this is an example of the dynamic weather in Phantom Pain. And the weather will change not only during your missions, but also while you're back at Mother Base. Alright, now something's going on. Let's see if we can take a look. There seems to be some sort of alarm, and people are running off to combat positions. So let's do the same. Yeah, Morpho's incoming, so let's go ahead and rendezvous with them. Notice also that Jackie is taking a bunch of shortcuts here. Uh, that is because it's his mother base. Uh, every player will have their own unique mother base, and know how to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. Alright, so we're back on the main platform now. And we'll rendezvous with Morpho. and head into battle. So as you can gather from the alarm, um, your base in the Phantom Pain can be attacked. So Mother Base does not only provide support to you while you're in the field, but all of the allies and enemies that you make while you're in your missions or online will also come back and affect you here at Mother Base. And it's all one endless cycle in the Phantom Pain. And that concludes our E3 presentation. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.
Hello everyone and welcome to the Gamescom 2014 presentation of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Two months ago at E3 we showed off various features of the game as we snuck through this stage to accomplish our mission. Today we'll play through the same stage but show you how the same mission can feel completely different depending on the various factors such as route and time of day. Marker placed. Yeah. Back at E3, you remember there were guards at this post, but you'll notice that they're not here anymore. So already we're seeing some variation in the mission. But that said, it looks like there are two soldiers heading this way in a vehicle, so let's go ahead and leave a little surprise for them. Go on. As you may recall, back at E3 we ran into a sandstorm which caused some problems, so to avoid that we'll minimize sidetracking and head straight towards our marker. Well, it looks like we have a goat here that's been separated from its herd, so let's see if we can help him out. And there he goes. We have a pack of wolves here too, most likely after the goat. Let's just keep our distance and continue with our mission before they come after us instead. Do remember that the landscape in the Phantom Pain is populated by various types of wildlife. And certain animals, such as wolves, can actually be dangerous, so you need to use caution when exploring the wilderness. Whoa, whoa. All right, so here we are at our vantage point. You have arrived at your destination. But first, what's this in the distance? Ah, oh, well, lo and behold, that's actually the vantage point we used at E3. This gives you some idea of where we are relative to our previous route on the other end of the base. That said, let's go ahead and mark the enemy. And it does look like the security is a bit tighter than it was before. You may remember that when we sneaked into this base previously, we created quite a mess. Uh, so the enemy has actually stepped up their game, and there are more troops here. And this is one example of how the game will actually adapt to player actions, and the same mission may actually be quite different when replayed. It was fairly easy to sneak into the space previously, but we'd have a much harder time if we tried to sneak in during daylight here. So let's go ahead and use our Phantom Cigar to pass the time. At night, as you can tell from the markers, it looks like security around our objective is beefed up. However, security around the rest of the base is fairly sparse. So let's go ahead and use that to our advantage. Oops, and it looks like enemies are wearing helmets now. The last time we played this mission, we used too many headshots with the Trank, so it looks like the enemy has countered by having troops wear helmets this time around. The point here is that if you overuse some weapons or techniques, the enemy will learn to take steps to counter your actions thanks to the AI capabilities of the Fox engine.
direct approach here would be difficult, so let's go ahead and find a way around. When we're exposed on an open road like this, let's go ahead and use our cardboard box to reduce our chances of being spotted. Okay, that said, uh, we have been noticed. This is a bad situation. We can't vacate the box without being spotted, but we can try something else. Alright, the enemy's running up, but he's not engaging. He actually seems kind of excited. So what's going... Ah. Well, that would definitely explain it. Let's see you see this guy before he gets a little too excited. So this is just one example of several new modifications we've made to our cardboard box since E3, thanks to the various people we've recruited into our R&D unit. Even at night, you'll notice that the area around our target is actually pretty well lit, making it difficult to stay out of sight. So let's see if we can find a way to remedy that. This soldier may have some clues, let's try interrogating him. Spit it out. The map has been updated. Okay, now we have the location of the power grid. So if we destroy it, we should be able to shut the lights off. Alright, that should make things easier. But the enemy is coming to investigate, so let's go ahead and hide in this trash dumpster. Sounds like there may be a helicopter incoming. Seems like the enemy has called in some backup. So the base is darker now, but we need to be careful to avoid the helicopter spotlight as we head to the target. Should be in this room. Let's take a look. So you picked up an intel file. Now we know where Miller is. I'm marking it on your iDroid. Alright, so these are the docs we needed. Objective complete. Now all we need to do is escape. We need to move cautiously. We got some reinforcements driving in. But 
that said, their vehicle just may be our ticket out of here. So let's see if we can confiscate it. Please select a landing zone. Landing zone confirmed. Alright, looks like the helicopter has moved into a holding pattern here. Which is bad for us. Obviously we can't drive out of here now without being spotted by the helicopter. So let's try something else. Takes care of the helicopter. Let's go ahead and call our horse and hightail it out of here. Mission complete. Alright, back at E3 we introduced Mother Base as our central base of operations. And you'll notice that the base we're at now looks similar, but there are some differences. For one thing, you'll notice that this is not the Diamond Dogs logo. We're actually at another player's forward operating base at the moment. During our E3 demo, we stopped at a point when your mother base was being attacked. But this time, we're turning things around to get revenge on that player by infiltrating their base. So let's go ahead and mark some targets. And move on in. Oops. Actually, it looks like we have a gun camera here. In addition to normal security cameras, players can also develop and install automated gun cameras, such as this one. As players build up their resources, expand their base, and invest in research, increasingly powerful weapons and security systems become available. And it looks like this player has invested quite a bit in beefing up their security. So we'll need to be careful. Devices here look suspicious as well. Most likely infrared laser sensors. So we'll have to take a detour. Let's take the high road instead. Alright, it sounds like an enemy. So we'll stay low here. Stay out of sight. Take this guy out. Okay, it looks like this player has gathered various resources here. But before we do anything else, let's go ahead and neutralize these guards. In addition to resources, it looks like this guy has also got some pretty nice equipment, which will come in handy for our own defenses. So let's go ahead and grab these first. And we'll also take this guy. By fulfilling soldiers from other players, it's possible to convince them to defect and join your army. Alright, so we'll go ahead and reclaim this stolen property, along with a bit of interest while we're at it. At front operating bases such as this, players can compete and steal resources from one another.
In order to protect your resources, you'll need to gather staff, assign security patrols, develop security systems, and invest in developing new platforms. The more platforms you build, the greater the distance that enemies will need to traverse in order to reach their goal, making infiltration more difficult. It's a different type of battle from the main missions, but critical to ensuring the survival and success of Diamond Dogs. Right, so we see our target off on another platform. So let's climb on down and make our way there. And to help us bypass security, we'll go ahead and use our Phantom Cigar. Alright, now that we have the cover of darkness on our side, let's go ahead and make our way to the other platform. Looks like we have a UAV here. Let's quietly take it out. Otherwise, the coast looks clear. So let's make a run for it. Whoops, it looks like we got hit by something. And it's... And it's actually the other player. Looks like they've noticed our infiltration into their base and has come to stop us. So that means, unfortunately, our stealth mission was a failure. But we do hope that you enjoyed this glimpse at some of the exciting replayability features and multiplayer options coming to Metal Gear Solid V Phantom Pain. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, Sean Eyestone and Jackie Tan here from Kojima Productions with a special Tokyo Game Show 2014 gameplay presentation of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Back at E3 in Gamescom, we showed off the desert landscape of Afghanistan, but today we'll show you an entirely new stage in our mission to rescue a Mother Base Intel operative who's been captured by the enemy. He's a valuable member of our Mother Base team, so we'll need to recover him quickly before the enemy can extract information from him. So to start off, we'll take a survey of the landscape here, take a look outside of the helicopter, And note that you can choose to look out either the left or right side of the aircraft, so you can get a better view of the overall area. And this can be done at any time by the player. Coming up on our drop zone now, so let's go ahead and disembark. And the first thing we'll need to do is get to our target area. So let's go ahead and start off by calling in some transportation. <coughs> Alright, you can see our helicopter flying off in the distance. You'll also notice the lush green landscape, very different from what we've shown previously. Once again, our mission will be to infiltrate the jungle and rescue our captured operative. But before we get too far, let's open up our map and plan our route. Alright, so here's our target, at the top of this plateau. Now we could get there along this road by riding our horse, but it is a long way to travel. So instead, let's take a shortcut on foot. 
and climb up the rock face directly. Since we don't need our transportation, we'll go ahead and dismiss our horse and get him out of harm's way. Alright, we'll make our way to the cliffs here. And uh, you do note that we are using a different uniform from what we've showed off previously. This particular outfit should be familiar to anyone who's played Metal Gear Solid 3. It's called the Naked Camouflage, with Snake going shirtless. Cool looking, yes, but not exactly the best option. So let's call Mother Base for some help. Alright, so we'll order a supply drop to bring in our new sneaking suit. And according to our map, we'll need to scale this cliff face here. You do notice that there are cracks in the cliff, which should give us a good grip. So let's go ahead and utilize that to do some cliff climbing. <coughs> it looks like there's an enemy helicopter patrolling overhead. So let's just hang here for a bit, make sure we don't get spotted. And continue on up. Looks like our supplies have been dropped by our support unit. So let's see if we can take a look here. There it is. Let's go up and grab it. Alright, now that's more like it. Uh, in addition to providing some camouflage, this also provides a certain amount of defense and looks pretty cool as well. So now that we have our sneaking suit, let's go ahead and move on. And one thing I want to point out as we climb up the cliff is uh, if we take a look down at Snake's legs, you'll notice that he's wearing some pretty cool looking boots. Uh, these are actually boots that were designed by Shin Kawasan in collaboration with Puma. And uh, we will actually have these for sale as merchandise, and we'll have more information on that in the future, so stay tuned. As you can see, we've made it to the top and gained quite a bit of elevation. Saved a good amount of time thanks to our shortcut. So let's continue onward. As mentioned previously, we'll need to infiltrate jungle terrain which means visibility will be low, making it hard for enemies to spot us, but also making it difficult for us to spot threats. However, we do have a new device here in Metal Solid 5 that comes in handy in situations like this. So let's go ahead and open up our items menu. the sonar biodetector and it uses active sonar to help us locate life forms that may be nearby. Animals, soldiers, or POWs. As you can see, the jungle is full of wildlife. But we do also have enemies on patrol here. Note the analyzer on the right side of the screen helps us to check out skills of the enemy before we go through the trouble of fultoning them. These two actually have pretty high stats, so it's to our advantage to capture and recruit them. Oops, but it does look like they're equipped with helmets, meaning we can't just go ahead and headshot them with our tranquilizer. So we'll have to try something else. We have a new item that comes in handy in situations like this. We call it the active decoy. And this is actually a balloon decoy that we can inflate. And it also plays a recorded message that lures enemies towards it. So while they're distracted, let's go ahead and sneak around them and take them out. Alright, so let's go ahead and fulton these two. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll bring it out. Target on board. Leave the rest.
close to us. That takes care of these two, but we don't know what other threats may be lurking in the jungle ahead. And it's also a pain if they happen to all be wearing helmets. So let's call in some backup to lend a hand. Dispatch requested. And there she is. This character is named Quiet. People may have seen her previously in trailers and in the cutscene we released prior to TGS. However, as you can see, she's also able to join Snake on his missions, and is an example of the new buddy system that's been implemented into Phantom Pain. Quiet can help by scouting out enemies, and can also provide assistance by afar by using her sniper abilities. So to start off, let's go ahead and assign her to a snipe point, so she can provide cover for us as we infiltrate the jungle. As you can see, Quiet has several superhuman abilities, such as the ability to turn herself invisible, and also the ability to move at extremely high speeds. Alright, there's a gunshot. Uh, shouldn't be Quiet since we didn't order to attack anyone, so we'll need to be careful here. Looks like uh, Quiet has located an enemy for us. The green marker on the left is our buddy, in this case Quiet, and the orange marker on the right is our enemy. Not bad as far as stats are concerned. Let's see if we can take him alive. Okay, it looks like he hit a buddy here. Nice teamwork, thanks to Quiet, we were able to shoot off his helmet, giving us a clear shot with our tranquilizer. He's coming too. Roger that. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Right now, our intel unit is reporting rain approaching our vicinity. There it is. Once again, uh, this is an example of the real time weather effects in the Phantom Pain. Weather will change dynamically. And in jungle settings such as this, rainstorms are fairly common. We see quiet off in the distance there. And uh, we also notice that there's some sort of uh, whining sound in the background. Could be an animal nearby, so let's use caution and see if we can find out what that is. Looks like we have a puppy here, and his mother's been killed. Could very well be the gunshot that we heard earlier. Sad story, but we don't have time to play around with the puppy, so we'll prioritize our mission and move on. So targets up ahead. But it does look like the puppy's trying to follow us, uh, which could be a problem since he does make noise. Let's try something to keep him busy. We'll go ahead and try and decoy here. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. 
right? So the decoy should keep him busy for a while. So let's go ahead and move on ahead. Open up our map. See where we're at. Uh, you'll note that we are close to the enemy outpost now. So let's go ahead and use quiet to scout ahead and uh, help us out by marking enemies. You're pretty good. Quiet has made it into the outpost. And she's marked some enemies for us. Definitely makes things easier. Let's make our approach here. We also see Quiet up there in the green. Right now we could go ahead and make our approach as is, but the rain and mist does make visibility a little low. So uh, let's go ahead and pass the time using our Phantom Cigar and wait for the weather to clear. Sun will rise momentarily. All right, so the weather's cleared up. We can move ahead. Uh, that said, it sounds like our puppy is also caught up with us while we're smoking. Does seem like a tough little guy. Friendly as well. So, uh, what do you say? Let's go ahead and bring him back to Mother Base. Go ahead and pass Fulton. And there he goes. Alright, so we'll move on ahead now. There's quiet. Fighting cover for us. You have arrived at your destination. And it looks like we have some heavily armored enemies here. Very well equipped, which means that our tranquilizer rounds will have absolutely no effect on these guys. We'll have to try something else. That's it, he's standing next to a cliff, which means we can try something kind of creative. <laughs> Alright, so that worked out nicely. That's it, it looks like his buddy did notice. Let's make our approach here. And try out one of our new items to take this guy out. It's called the Stun Arm, which is an augmentation to Snake's prosthetic arm that we can use to deliver an electric charge to an enemy through his armor and knock him out. And it looks like Quiet has spotted another enemy for us. And in this case, it looks like it may actually be our mission target. And by the way he's being abused, he could get executed at any time. So let's hurry up and take these guys out quickly. Take aim. We'll order Quiet to take out the guy on the left, while we go for the guy on the right. And take them out simultaneously. Right, and there's our target. Uh, some people may recognize him. This is actually Jackie, one of our level designers, and the one who happens to be at the controls of this gameplay presentation. Fortunately, he just can't seem to stay out of trouble. But we'll go ahead and rescue him one more time. So let's hook up the Fulton and send him on his way. Oh yeah, that's bad. Uh, looks like he got spotted by an enemy sniper who managed to shoot down his balloon. And quite took him out with a nice shot there. Not before his friends noticed, so we're gonna have to fight our way out now. White's doing a good job of providing cover, but we have more enemies coming out from the outpost up ahead. So let's go ahead and see if we can slow them down. Alright, that should buy us some time. So let's go ahead and get Jackie out of here. Yeah. 
Okay, so our target's safely out. Now all we gotta do is vacate the hot zone. Once again, quiet kick some ass. Okay, well, quiet's got us covered. Let's go ahead and make our way across the bridge and see if we can escape. Got more reinforcements here. Uh, let's see if we can try using some decoys to keep these guys busy. Buy us some time. Take these guys out. That was a nice shot there by Quiet. But more reinforcements. Uh, we'll have to fall back here, try to find an alternate route. And it looks like we are at a dead end here. Let's just take cover. Got more enemies coming down the slope. That said, do notice there's dry grass here, which means we can use that to our advantage. Try throwing some patrol bombs. That bought us some time. Let's go ahead and use this window of opportunity to call in our helicopter. And uh, that is not our helicopter, that's actually the enemy, so let's try to take some cover here. Unfortunately, we missed with our grenade launcher, and small arms fire won't do much good against a helicopter like this. So we'll just have to lay low for a little bit. We're pinned down here with no ammo in our grenade launcher, so we're gonna have to try something a little creative. Try to make do with what we have, so we'll select a hand grenade and have Quiet help us out. Alright, that actually worked nicely. I just gotta get out of here quick. This is Morphos, arriving shortly at LZ. Morphos incoming, so we'll just make a run for it. Quiet, going up ahead, providing cover. And there's our chopper. And let's just get on and escape. Looks like we've escaped the hot zone. So 
Mission accomplished. Good job. That concludes our Tokyo Game Show 2014 special presentation of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to more announcements coming soon. And thank you for watching. Standing on the edge of the crater Like the prophets once said And the ashes are all cold now No more bullets And the embers are dead Whispers in the air Tell the tales of the brothers gone Desolation, devastation What a mess we made when it all went wrong Watching from the edge of the circus for the games to begin gladiators draw their swords from their ranks for Armageddon I'm
not bearing them at sea. What then? We'll make diamonds from their ashes. We'll take them into battle with us. A shining light to our brothers in arms. Even in death. We are diamond dogs. be with you.